Here we go again, watching the Cobb Zone and we thank you. In this video you will get to understand what worked and didn't with the widely known co-op game Warhammer Vermintide 2. Let's get into it. The game was released in early 2018, published by the Swedish Fat Shark, and is a first person shooter game. You can play it on PlayStation, Xbox and PC. And yes, of course, you can play co-op. This is one of the few games that was able to thread the needle in the difficult mode of co-op zombie action frenzy theme. Or was it? Let's continue into the storyline quickly before we dig into the co-op section. The story embarks itself in a whimsical, grim, dark universe where the Skavens won't leave you alone. It's actually the Skaven who created the suggestively named Skittergate the warpstone powered portal that led to all the chaos and which is very central to the main campaign's plot. And Vermintide 2 is very much a game of hordes, just like World War Z, which you can check out on our channel. You will find yourself venturing over architecture Who the hell is this guy? and smashing through doors to surround you and your team of heroes with enemies. Oh, yo, 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 one second. In here, this tight space. Oh my god. Swipe left, swipe right. Make sure your enemies are in front rather than behind. This is a joke. You will have the option to choose between different characters. They all have their unique special abilities. Victor Salspire, a witch hunter, a highly armored assassin who is excellent at targeting single enemies, Marcus Kruber, a mercenary and huntsman, Baden Gurkson, a ranger veteran and iron breaker, Carillion, a waystalker handmaiden, and Sienna Fogosius, a battle wizard. This game isn't much about difficulty or solving puzzles like our reviewed game It Takes Two was. So you can enjoy the storyline with your friend without using too many brain cells. This is a 4 player co-op game. So guess what? You can finally invite those other two friends that have always felt left out when you played FIFA alone with only one friend. Just finish the tutorial and you can play co-op. This close range chaos game is perfect to play with your mates. From the beginning, you can select to invite your friends into your headquarters. When the game begins, you and your friends have to be on it, from the first to the last second. If you even stop to take a sip of water, you will risk being eaten up by rats. There are 13 missions, so plenty of fun to be had with your friends. And after each mission, you can upgrade and purchase better stuff. Playing online co-op game with your friends is beneficial for all parties involved. Not just for fun, but also mentally. So watch our why co-op gaming was important for mental health. Do it! Just do it! Players exchange ideas, strategies and tactics on how to complete each mission. The graphics in PS4, which is the base for our review, was okay. Nothing amazing, so don't expect Far Cry style sceneries. Although the buildings and streets do look cool, it isn't the highest of qualities. However, this does mean that the game won't lag, which enhances the gaming experience. The engine in this game is from Autodesk Stingray. Not exactly Unreal Engine, but it does its intended job. So, Vermintide 2 is an improvement of its predecessor from 2015, with more beautifully designed sprawling levels, more varied enemy types, an addictive loot system, and a whole lot of character skills to try out. The sequel is at its best when it's creating tense moments, even if it quickly can get a little bit overwhelming. So, leave your snacks and drinks aside, invite your mates and go wild killing rats in this fast paced game. We hope you enjoyed and got something out of this review. And let us know what you think of the game. If this is up your alley, follow and press notifications on our channel. Diablo 4 is next. Adios, see you later.